Hi, it's me, Karen, the Journey Girl, coming to you from the back of the beyond up here in Ferry County, Washington. The rain has stopped today, the mountains are out, and the sky is blue. Today I'm going to be making um, my version of a ranch dressing. Uh, I first started making our own salad dressings when Dan and I lived in Germany and we could not get anything that resembled an American style salad dressing. Since we've moved home I've continued to make our salad dressings. We live 12 miles from town and I'm not going to be making a trip into town every time I need a salad dressing. Um, there's all kinds of recipes on the internet for a ranch dressing. Um, some of them call for oregano, tarragon, basil. Um, this is my version. This is what I have on hand and this makes a mighty, ta a mighty tasty version of ranch dressing. So to get started I have a cup of mayonnaise and you please use a good quality mayonnaise that's what makes the, all the difference um, in your salad dressings and in any other recipe for that matter is the quality of what you have then I'm going to add in a half a cup of sour cream I have a quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley and it goes. A tablespoon of chopped fresh chive. A teaspoon of dried dill. Then I have a quarter teaspoon each of salt, paprika, and black pepper. And we go. I grated one garlic clove and I like to grate it because I don't really fond of having large chunks of garlic in my food and then one teaspoon of lemon juice. So I'm going to give this a stir. This is something you want to start earlier in the day. You want to let it rest in your refrigerator for a couple of hours before you use it. That'll help the flavors to meld together. Now last, see how nice and thick this is? You can use this, this would be great like this as a dip for fresh vegetables or even pretzels. Um, but for a salad dressing I want to dilute it with a little bit of buttermilk. I have a half a cup here and you can just depends on how thick or thin you like your salad dressings. I'm going to start with about a quarter cup of buttermilk. Ooh. I'm going to put in a little bit more. What I happen to have bought is Bavarian style buttermilk because that's what they had in the store and that's a little bit thicker. It's, it's very tasty but it's a little bit thicker than traditional buttermilk. There we go. Look at that. I'm just going to grab a spoon. Oh my. When this finishes sitting for a couple hours covered in the refrigerator, this is going to be one mighty fine ranch dressing. So until next time, 